Hey all of you Linux lovers, it's Jack Wallen again. I'm here to explain to you why I've chosen five particular Linux distributions for my best overall list. Ubuntu has reigned at or near the top of every such list for as long as I can remember. There are a number of reasons for that. First off, Ubuntu is based on Debian, which is one of the most stable operating systems on the planet. Second, the designers and developers of Ubuntu have gone out of their way to tweak the GNOME interface to make it user-friendly and efficient out of the box. So there's very little need to add GNOME extensions unless there's a specific functionality you depend upon. On the desktop, Ubuntu Linux needs very little tweaking to get it to do what you need. From hardware to software to codecs, everything just works. Ubuntu has proved, over and over again, that you can use Linux without ever touching the terminal window. That alone places Ubuntu at the top of nearly every best overall desktop distributions list. Pop! OS is the in-house distribution from System76. It's based on Ubuntu, so it already has the pedigree to jump to the front of the line. But Pop! OS isn't just a shiny wrapper over an already delicious confection. No. System76 adds a few extra bells and whistles into the mix to make Pop! OS something special. First off, Pop! OS is one of the few distributions that can game without much extra work. Services like Steam work with very little tweaking. And the performance of Pop! OS, especially on System76 hardware, is unmatched. The choice of the GNOME desktop was a wise one on the part of System76. Although they do take a very vanilla approach to the desktop, it only takes the addition of a few choice GNOME extensions to make the desktop look and behave exactly as you want it. Finally, System76 has added a simple way to update firmware, something very few distributions can lay claim to. All of this, combined, makes for one incredible desktop experience. Elementary OS is the Linux distribution at the very top of my most recommended list. Why? Two reasons. First, there isn't a more elegant and clean desktop on the market, period. The developers and designers of Elementary OS have done a remarkable job of creating a desktop that anyone can use, regardless of skill level. From your child to your grandmother, they can all hop onto Elementary OS and feel instantly at home. This is one of the few Linux distributions for which I can say there is zero learning curve. The second reason is the App Store. Although Elementary OS comes with a scant few applications pre-installed, the distribution includes one of the finest app stores on the market, so installation of the tools you need to work and play is just a quick click away. Along with the simplicity of the app store, what the Elementary team is doing to get developers paid for their work is commendable. Elementary OS is based on Ubuntu, so it also enjoys a remarkable stability and the same level of hardware recognition. Deepin uses the Deepin desktop as the default user interface, which is often regarded as the most beautiful desktop on the market. Period. In fact, no desktop even comes close to the beauty found on this flavor of Linux. It was as if the Deepin developers took a Ubuntu foundation, layered on the GNOME desktop with some of the most used extensions, and then mixed in just the right bits from Apple's OS X desktop to create the perfect ratio of function and form. Deepin also includes a good amount of software ready to help you work and play. The one difference between Deepin and many other distributions of Linux is that Deepin opts for the WPS Office suite of tools over LibreOffice. Good news is, WPS is an outstanding Office suite that anyone can use with little to no learning curve. Deepin extends the elegance into the control panel in the form of a sidebar that makes configuring every aspect of your desktop incredibly simple. Anyone searching for the best-looking desktop on the market, one that also just works, would be hard-pressed to find something to best deepen. Manjaro is an Arch-based distribution. Under normal circumstances, I'd never place a flavor of desktop Linux based on Arch on a best overall list. Why? Generally speaking, Arch Linux isn't for the average user. But Manjaro isn't your average Arch-based distribution. Manjaro Linux is what happens when someone asks the question, is it possible to make Arch Linux user-friendly? The answer to that question is yes. 
Manjaro offers a version with XFCE, GNOME, or KDE. You can also select which Office suite you want, either LibreOffice or FreeOffice, during the installation of the OS. When new users first log in to the Manjaro desktop, they'll be greeted by a welcome tool that offers plenty of help on getting started with the OS. And for those that enjoy a fairly traditional desktop, the Manjaro take on KDE is stellar. If you're looking to kick the tires of Arch Linux, look no further than Manjaro, a distribution that proves even Arch Linux can be an outstanding option for the desktop. Hey everybody! Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our Tech Republic YouTube channel. And be sure to check out more how-to videos at How to Make Tech Work.